I think Yankee fans kind of want assurances that this great season is going to lead to a championship. I don't know if there's a move outside of Scherzer that is going to make you feel better about this team. I'm sorry. The best team doesn't always win all the time. Now, last year they did, but historically that's not always the case. You still got to go out there and get the job done. And last year they went out and acquired Hap, who was money against the Red Sox. And the Yankees figured that's our nice security blanket. We went out a guy that owns the Red Sox. Guess what? He pitched once against the Red Sox, lost. And if he had done his job and won, there would have been a, a, five, a fifth game in that series. Maybe the Yankees could have found a way to win. Because we're not adding offense. You're adding a pitcher who's still only going to make one or two appearances in a series. Maybe only one in a best of five. Because if Severino comes back... He's your game two starter. Tanaka would be your game one starter. So you're looking at a guy that might replace Paxton as your third game and that, starter. That can't be something and that's that a guy that might pitch just once a series. That, that can't be something that changes your mood about the second half of the season and your expectations. No, Don. I, I, honestly, I, they are not going to make a move, I think, that makes anyone feel different than they feel now. And guess what, guys? Hey, Yankees fans, that's okay. You're the second best team in baseball at this moment. 57 wins. So you don't always have to literally, it almost feels like these days, Don, Yankees fans feel that in order to feel good about a win, uh, about, a, about, a, about the probability of getting a win in the World Series, they need to be literally the all-star team. And then you'll feel comfortable. But here's the thing, you may do that and still lose. You'll just feel dumber about it when it happens. This is a great team. They got to go out and win games. They, they have injuries to deal with, yes. They'll get healthier as the season goes on. They'll get Severino back. But how much more do you need, Don? They're absolutely loaded. They are basically an all-star team. Yeah, but I think Yankee fans want assurances that I don't think anybody well, could ever possibly get. Yeah, go buy the Gray Sports Almanac, okay? Find out, go back in history, go to the future, and look back and see if they won. There are no assurances, no matter who you get. This team is loaded. They could add more all-stars. And outside of injuries, which the Yankees have proven they can survive, I'm hearing Yankee fans get nervous because they lost the last two games against Tampa. I mean, that's going to happen in a 162-game schedule. You're not going to win every single game. I don't think anything that's going to happen outside of injuries in the regular season are going to make or shake your confidence either way about this team. They are, they are great. This is a great baseball team. They're the best offensive team in baseball. They, uh, they're, they're, they're third in runs. They're first in home runs. Well, that, that's the scariest statistic. That's the scariest stat because you know and I know, that will not be the same in the postseason. It never is for anyone. Now, so that's the scariest part of it. That was the other thing I was going to bring up to you before we get to the calls. Th the last year was the exception. The Red Sox did bash their way to a championship. They were a very good offensive team, and the offense did seem to carry them. Remember, they had a closer that allowed a run pretty much in every appearance. Remember, we went in, you know, how, how is Sale going to do, how is Price going to do, and they did well. But they hit. And with this new doctored baseball and with offense being the way that it is, it, are things beginning to change? Was last year a, a window into the future where we talk so much about pitching and talk so much about bullpens that maybe we are headed to where being the best offensive team is going to give you the best advantage to win a championship? Is it too soon to say that because it was only the Red Sox that did it? Most of the time it's about pitching. Of course you have to pitch. You have to defend, too. I mean, you can be the best offensive team in basketball, hockey, and football, but you still have to defend. You still need good goaltending. You still need a defense that's going to stop, hold a team to a field goal in the red zone instead of giving up touchdowns all the time. But are we starting to head to a sport now where you're going to see offense really rule the day?